And there were no expectations, so there was no fluff, no arrogance. Everybody's just really, and there's been a lot of prayer that's gone on. Um, but actually, I was here because, I mean, I'm here, I actually had a nomination, two nominations. Um, I was nominated for the Best Performing Artist, and they lost my music, so I had to sing in acapella. But I did get to preach a little bit, which was pretty cool. And then, um, and then... Our production company did a music video that won third place. So it was exciting that I can't believe how you have grown up. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at that smile. Is it cheap? What inspired you to start doing this? Oh, well just because I'm a believer and I like to be a Christian. <laughs> Where can we find you on the internet? Um, okay, someone stole my name. Uh, so now my new website is Brenda hyphen Ingram and you spell that I N G R A H A M. It looks like Ingraham, but it's like the Graham Cracker. People don't remember the Graham Cracker anymore. But anyhow, so it's Brenda hyphen Ingram.com. I'm on Facebook at Brenda Turner Ingram. And then I have a casting group which you are aware of that. I know that. And it's just it's casting group. So I try to help get people get jobs and let them know things that are going on in the in the film industry. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. Okay. I love I I I'm probably the only one that got one. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? We are here with the CFF and we're presenting our uh, show that we have it's called Gallery Back. It's a sitcom that Valencia and I wrote and directed and we're the executive producers. Yeah. What inspired you guys to start doing this? You know, we have been singers for quite some time and so we've been writing songs for a long time. We decided actually at ICFF, um, we wanted to start writing shows and tapping into all that. So we started doing that. So we came up with a concept of Daddy We're Back. And what that is about is about two young women that uh, have lived with their family and have decided to go on and uh, live out the world. Decided to come back home, but unbeknownst to us, our daddy has a new girlfriend. She doesn't really like her that much. We don't really like her that much. So it's a lot of drama, but it's fun and wonderful and we love it. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find us at 24 Twins, so you can catch that if Daddy were back there, you can catch our pilot episode. Uh, but we're at 24 Twins. Um, you can also get more information about us at uh, our Facebook, which is Angela Valencia, Angela Valencia. And for our show, Daddy We're Back, you can get information by going to daddywereback.com, where you can catch the pilot there also. And you can also see the premiere for the new episodes Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? My show, Recovery Unplugged, which is uh, a show which interviews celebrities, uh, up and coming artists, and everyday uh, individuals about their mental health, uh, both professional and how it impacts them both professionally and personally. And it is nominated for Best TV Show, and I'm also nominated for People's Choice Screener Writer of the Year. Where can we find you on the internet? On Amazon, you can find my published novels under Amy Lee McCorkle, Amy McCorkle, and Caitlin. And I'm all over Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Facebook as Amy Lee McCorkle, Twitter as Amy L. McCorkle, and my Instagram is at Letters to Dan. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Well, I'm really kind of a lunatic, but God uses lunatics. 
just finished my first film called The Handout about a lonely homeless guy who goes around doing miracles. God uses him in a powerful way. It's kind of bringing back Touched by an Angel, and but only with the homeless guy that everybody loves. And he, he's a real fruitcake, let me tell you. But he's powerful, he's funny, and he's conflicted. I mean, this guy's got his shoes, right? But he's a lot of fun. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, you can, well, right now, I'm going to meet with the social media in about a week. But you can reach me at BillTosh81 at gmail.com or just BillTosh on Facebook. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye. Oh, you did a great job. See you later. I'm here with Allison Moore. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Uh, I am here because uh, we have a script uh, about the life of Dale Evans. It's a faith-based project. Um, and it's a screenplay. Can you tell us what inspired you to start doing this? Well, I think as a mother and as a woman, I think we always ask ourselves the questions, you know, how do we have it all? You know, careers, family, uh, and Dale is somebody who did it so graciously and persevered through so much in the 1940s. Where can we find you on the internet? AllisonMoyer.com. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. Bye-bye. Deborah Oval. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? I'm actually a model actress and I'm here and with my teaching coach and enjoying this festival and so thankful that it's happening. When did you start doing this? Actually, my husband was part of it as, as far as this end of the, my life, uh, but I actually was always seeing things like that. But he said you should get into community theater, and I was like, oh, okay. So I did, and wound up getting signed for five years. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at Deborah L. Oval on Instagram, and you can find me at Deborah Oval Actress on Facebook. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Bye. And thanks for interviewing me. Bye. <laughs>